Hey co friends, it's Gabrielle Aishel and I have a really cool video for you today. Last week was tax free week. I did some shopping. <laughs> A lot of the stuff is not tax free, but I went shopping because it was tax free week and I just ended up finding all this good stuff. So I got a lot of coach stuff and then I got some other designer stuff. I got some Fendi, some Ray-Bans, I got some Michael Kors. So stay tuned if you're interested to see what I got. <laughs> video I've only done one video about bags I did a Louis Vuitton unboxing I got a lot of views and a lot of good feedback so I thought why not do another bag but more affordable brand so I am doing coach I love coach I've been wearing coach bags since I was 13 years old and have the very first coach bag that I got with a little note from my aunt because <laughs> it was a birthday gift so I love coach it's very affordable and it's very classic and timeless some of their pieces that i have so why not i can afford it i'm gonna buy it and it's really cute too so let's hop into this haul first thing first i really went because i wanted to replace this coach tote that i have been wearing since i started my career in 2014 so that's about seven years I've been wearing the same black bag to work every day I mean I do switch it up you know from time to time but that has been the, the thing that's been consistent it goes with everything basically so I like wearing that to work but over time and I'm, just, I'm gonna actually go get it for you guys to show you but over time the handles started to fray and it just looks tacky I try to cut off the frayed part but it still comes back and it doesn't look professional it looks tacky so I actually do want to do something where I jazz up the handles like a DIY project or something so that they look presentable this black bag is called the Tatum very very nice bag it's very classy and it's very structured compared to the tote that I got so it stands up like that and the sides you know they're hard instead of flimsy like that one straps are very nice too i really like how classy this bag looks on the inside this looks sort of like my louis vuitton on the inside it has this red color it has first of all it has this coach what do they call it horse and chariot here on the front And then they also have the same thing right here. So on the inside, it is red, like I said, and it has a strap. So if I wanted to wear it over my shoulder, I can do that. Just hook that up like this. And I have like a little crossbody or Next, I really like that it has more pockets in here than the tote has. This one has two little pockets right here. You can fit like paper in here. I don't want to put something too thick in here um, to make it lose its shape, but I do like that. And then it has a zipper in the middle, which my tote does not have. So you can store things in here without fearing for someone to pit pocket you. So this is very spacious in here. And then like on the, like I said, on both sides there is space here. So I'm hoping, I said it can fit a 13 inch laptop. I wanna fit my MacBook Air in here in case I do wanna travel with it. So I really do like this very very classy classic timeless black bag very pretty so the price this bag is originally 428 dollars but i got it for 171 dollars it was 60 percent off the entire store that day so i think this is a really good deal like i said coach is one of my favorite brands it is my favorite brand because it's affordable and it's like an everyday bag I will be using this this will be my everyday bag this will be my go-to bag for work so I will definitely be getting my money's worth I think this 
bag is totally worth $170 that I paid for it. While I was there, I was like, hmm, maybe I should get a bag to match these coach shoes that I bought six years ago that I still wear and I love. So I got this really cute crossbody coach bag with this classic C print and it matches my shoes, it looks so good. So, so on the inside, it has a little pocket right here with the tag in it and a place to put cards here. On the back, it has a little slot here that you can do and of course it has a zipper so you don't have to worry about your items getting stolen. Now let's go and look at the tag on here. It is originally $250 and I paid $109. This bag is called a signature MN camera bag, but I will be using it as a crossbody. Very nice. And I love this color, the brown. I don't have any brown coach bags, so I really wanted to get this. And so it's big enough for me to put my phone in here, but lately I've been carrying my Michael Kors wristlet around and it could probably fit in here, but not comfortably. So I ended up buying a little card holder to put in here so that I still have room for some more things. So this is really cute. The same coach uh, signature print. Very nice. So it has a little the thing for your ID in the back so you can just show your ID and then it has little slots for cards in the front and then it opens up the zipper opens up and you could put like your coins in here I'll put some dollar bills because I like to carry cash I guess I'm old school call me old school but I like to oh this is the thing that kept going all of every single store that I went into metal detectors beeped and it was because of this <laughs> this was in my bag my wallet and I guess they put that in there because these items are so small so it, it is like I guess it could be easy to steal but this one cost $78 originally I got it for $31 and 20 cents they all came with this little thing piece of paper and it says, a little TLC goes a long way to care for the product, avoid heat and moisture, to clean, wipe with a damp cloth. All Coach fabrics are water repellent. The last Coach thing that I got from the Coach outlet, it's the same signature print. I got a Coach belt, so nice. It has a gold hardware at the buckle and it has Coach right there. So this is very cute. I got a size medium because I always buy medium belts just in case. This was originally $128 and I got it for $51. So I think that's pretty a good deal too because I know Coach, I trust Coach and I trust that this will be a quality belt and it will last. So $50 is not bad. So I spent a whopping too much money. I spent $381.29. I only went in there for one bag and I got four items. <laughs> so, not really disappointed because YOLO, I got the money, I might as well spend it and look nice. Next up is a Michael Kors item. I actually got this from Marshalls because you know they sell Mar Michael Kors items there. Beautiful brown belt. I already have shoes in this print and I boots and I have a purse in this print that I got both for my birthday this year so I'm excited to add this belt to the collection on the back it has the white or cream print with the MK going across like that as well very nice and this one also has the gold hardware as a buckle and it has Michael Kors going along the side this is originally $48 I got it for $17 and this one is cool. You can twist it so you can use both sides of the belt. So if you pull this up, you can turn it around and wear it on this side. I love that. I was just balling last week because <laughs> I spent a lot of money <laughs> at Nordstrom's buying these designer glasses. A few weeks ago I was in New York and I just had my little $15 glasses that I got from TJ Maxx. I don't really care about glasses like that. I don't even like glasses really. 
but I saw that the inside was like turning blue and green. So I'm like, I really need to get me some quality sunglasses. And my cousin told me about a sale that Nordstrom was having. So I went online and I was like, I'll give me one pair of sunglasses. But then they had some really cute sunglasses. So I spent 300 more dollars. Anyways, I got five pairs of sunglasses. <laughs> it's actually a little sad because it rained when the day that these were delivered. So my box was soaking wet. This box in here, this was like wet. You can see like the, the water marks on here, up here. And you see how the box is kind of discombobulated. <laughs> Yeah, so this is wet and I was a little disappointed in that, but it's not Nordstrom's fault. Obviously, it's the person who put my package out there and the earth's fault because of rain. These were the more inexpensive pair that I got. Thankfully, this didn't have a little bag, but it was cool because I paid like $7 for these. So these were really cute, like trendy glasses that I wanted to buy. These don't have a brand name. They're just Nordstrom racks. They're originally $15. I get it for $7.50. So let's try these on. <laughs> I told you guys, I don't really do sunglasses, but these are pretty cool. So I like them. But luckily, the more expensive sunglasses that I got had a plastic bag covering them. So even though the the box that these glasses came in was wet. These were actually dry. The first pair that I'm really excited about is my Fendi. I do not own any Fendi. Can you see that? Can you see the Fendi? Can you see the Fendi? <laughs> I was balling last week because I was just dropping money, I guess. But these are another the case. Let's talk about the case first. The case is so cute. It's a magnetic case. Very nice. It opens up and it's blue on the inside and has the glasses. They're also in some plastic wrap here. It has a little Fendi card. My first Fendi item. Let's see what the card says. Ooh. <laughs> it's an authentic. Oh, wow. Okay, okay, okay. Let's look. It's an authentic. All this. It's an authenticity. Why can't I say that word? authenticity certificate card so pretty cool on the front it just says Fendi this cer certificate states that you have purchased a genuine Fendi product okay I purchased my first genuine Fendi product all right Gabrielle anyways I'm not feeling that out I don't really care about that so <laughs> it goes right back in here and then it has a little glasses wipe with Fendi on that so it's so cool and you see like designer brands they really show you why they're they're more expensive because the quality is the packaging it's the thoughtfulness that comes with the glasses so you guys gotta let me know what they what you think but I got some more blue glasses these are a little bit darker this is really skinny here this um, arm I think it's called arm it says on the inside, it says Fendi is made in Italy and it has a little F on the side. I think it's like an upside down F. But these are super cute. It's like a sort of like a cat eye. Let me try them on for you guys. It's my first time trying them on too. Okay, okay. I gotta take some pictures and see if I really like them, but I think they're cute. So if you guys think they look good, let me know in the comments below, okay? Okay, so that's my first pair of designer shades. I'm really excited about that. And I could throw my $12, $15 TJ Maxx ones in the trash. These are originally like $240. I got them for $119.97. So they were about half off. Next we have the Swarovski. And it has a little crystal. That's the little crystal company. It has a little, little crystal right there on the front. So cute. You know I had to get me some purple sunglasses because purple is my favorite color. So let's talk about the case before I show you the glasses for real. 
the case. Look at that. Look at that. That's quality here. Has a little glasses wipe wipe me down. Head, shoulder, chest. Mm. Oh. <laughs> and we gotta look at the details, guys. The details. So these are sort of like a cat eye too. And let's look at the back. Look at the back. Look at the back of the glasses. They got the little little, little crystal things. They're probably just uh, rhinestones, but. I must call them crystals because this is a crystal. This is the jewelry company. Swarovski. And look how cute these are. Ooh. <laughs> okay. I'm coming in hot. I don't know. These might be a little bit too big for my face. So let me know. Let me know what you think. But purple is my favorite color. So I had to at least try them. So I got these for $44.98 and they're originally about $100, maybe $90. So half off. Well, I got two pair of Ray-Ban glasses. Guys, I didn't even own a pair of Ray-Ban glasses. I remember a lot of people started getting these a little while ago because they were, they was just so hyped up. But I wasn't paying $150 for the glasses, so sunglasses. Hold on. I don't like that. So I paid $79.97 for them, but on here it says $65.97. So I need to figure out why I paid $14 more than the price that's on here. I want my $14 back. <laughs> I guess I'm not balling if I want $15 back. <laughs> Anyways, and these ones are really sticky. I don't like this. Oh no. Uh-uh. I'm going back to Nordstrom's because this is kind of disgusting. I don't want to have to clean this off. But they're very sticky along this here. I don't know if you can. Yeah, you can. Right there. You see it's sticky? And it goes like all the way up here. All, all the way down here. Sticky. I don't like that. These are the Ray-Ban Retro Wayfarer sunglasses. So this is a one size fit all, obviously. But just your classic sunglasses. And they remind me of these ones that I already had, the, the cheap glasses here. So basically replacing those. I paid $79 for them and $79.97. And so they cost about $150 originally. Was not gonna pay $150 for those Ray-Ban glasses. So it's cool that I got them on sale. And then lastly, I got me some more Ray-Bans. These were, $59.98 and this tag on here matches <laughs> what I paid for them. So they were originally $132. So these have the round eye and they are a magenta color. Well, uh, here it says transparent pink. These are 53 millimeter round alternative fit sunglasses in the color pink. Oh. <laughs> I'm about to be rocking some fly eyewear here. Okay, so yeah, this is my haul, my designer haul. I'm so excited for these products. Yes, I'm about to be all designer out. Affordable designer, that is. <laughs> like, I spent $300, 300, $331 and 15 cents for these five pair of glasses, but it's quality and you can't beat that, especially for a discounted price. Really excited to wear them out and you'll be seeing them. If you follow me on my Instagram page, you'll see them, you'll see them. That is it for this video. I told you guys I love shopping. If you know, you know. <laughs> but yes, I love shopping and I wanted to share with you guys some of the things that I got that are more affordable, I think, 
I mean, you can go to Target, TJ Maxx, and get some purses for $30 or classes for $20, but designer brands that are affordable. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. Don't forget to give me a big thumbs up if you did. Also, click the subscribe button and the bell to be notified whenever I post. Also, I have this giveaway going on, so if you have not checked out that video, I will be leaving the link to that up in the cards above and in the description box below. Check out that giveaway, and you can win some really cool black-owned products, so I'm excited to be doing that. Out of all these products I got here, which one was your favorite? Out of the pair of glasses, which one did you think looked the best on me? Because I never know how I look with glasses, really. I gotta, I gotta have people tell me. I need the feedback. So give me some feedback, guys, in the comments below. And until the next one, I'll see you guys later. Bye.